What's up friends, Chook here and welcome back to Bit Heroes. Alright, it's Thursday, it's Capture 8 Day, it is Yeti Day. Still need one of the son of a bitch uh, left to make the fatty, uh, so we're going to do it. Uh, I haven't logged in for quite a while, so my energy is full and we have many Yeti dungeons to do. So let's get started. Uh, so yeah, we still need the one Yeti to make fatty, um, has been the case for what feels like a month actually it feels like a long ass time we've just needed one yeti uh and he just keeps coming up for persuasion uh but will not accept my money which is a bit of a jerk move really um but we have what 380 something energy so that's what 12 12 dungeons if my math is correct my math is pretty bad but i think it's 12 uh so that's a lot uh let's hope that out of those 12 he pops up and then if he pops up he, uh, he actually takes our shrapnel coin that we throw at him and, uh, and decides to join us. Then we can move on to other things. Uh, as I've mentioned in all the previous videos, there's, there's never uh, a, a, a shy or dull moment in Capture 8. It's always something to strive for. Um, so once we get the fatty, uh, we can go on to gem and, and walk him and, and all those other things. Uh, but my god, this, this guy's overdue. Holy shit. Anyway... Um, so that's what today's video will be. It will be all Yeti dungeons, um, unless we capture him, in which case we'll move on to Gem, uh, Gem's dungeon. Or maybe we'll do some raids for Driffin, uh, or Duo Bombs. Um, you know, all the regular stuff. But, yeah, Yeti's definitely the priority, um, and has been for quite some time. I don't know why, he just, he just will not accept, and I refuse to spend gems. I refuse. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Uh, speaking of gems, we have over 7,000 now, which is great. Uh, if we quickly stop for a sec and we go to the shop, um, there was, yesterday, there was the, ex the like, the large, the, the super 5k um, offensive accessory thing, um, but I wasn't recording, so I didn't buy it. Uh, so next time that's up for sale and I'm recording, uh, we'll buy one. You know, maybe by that stage, maybe a new offensive accessory will be out as well. Who knows? What is this mellow orb? I haven't looked at this yet. You get 50 dewdrops, which is good. You get a Bob Gore. That's the thing I was trying to remember its name. Um, you get Shard Basket, Energy Pack, and Gems. It's not bad. It's 20 bucks, though. <laughs> Each to their own. Uh, we do not want to take that. Uh, yeah. So, Yeti and Gem and uh, Walkham. That's the plan. Uh, so I, speaking of, um, speaking about, I should say, not speaking of, f speaking about Raid 6 Heroic, um, I am still having a little bit of issues, but I, it's been a little bit better recently. Uh, I have changed my layout around. Uh, I used to have, uh, Chaos as my main tank at the front, and then I had Eagle as my, like, tank at the back. I've put them in slot 1 and 2. And then I've put my bait, which has revved me up, in the back. And that seems to work a little bit better. I don't know why. I've just been, like, messing around with, um, the, like, the roster. Like, the layout of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then me and Proz are in the middle, and we get chunked. So, I actually need to, uh, Cat's Kittens suggested that I get a little bit more, um, stamina. So I have more stamina than my, than my bait, which makes sense. Uh, but I haven't really looked into that, but that could be a Sunday issue, or I'll, I'll rectify that by Sunday, um, as today is Capture 8. These are going down fairly quickly. Uh, in fact, let's quickly check that while we're here. Heroic. So, I have the, lo yeah, the least amount of stamina, so I need to get an extra, what, like 30? Um, and I'll be above rev me up, and then that way I won't have the least. Pros will do. So maybe I don't need to. Either way, this is, this is the layout I have now, and it's working better for me. Okay. Come on, Yeti. Join the ranks, man. You've, we've already got four of you. I mean, you should want to come. We've got your mom, and your dad, and your brother, and your sister. So, you don't want to be with your family? You just want to, like, hang out by yourself? Like a little, like edgy teen or something You're just like no i won't join you fuck you i'm on my own i'm loving it and then you run out of food and then you die <laughs> it's a morbid story um about yetis if they if they don't keep with their family they die so hopefully he'll, he'll come and join his uh, his mom and pa 
is Ma and Pa and brother and sister. And then, um, little do they know that we're going to get them together um, and lather them in bacon and then put them in a machine and like just fuse them all together into a really fat bastard Yeti. So, I mean, maybe, maybe that's why he's not joining, right? Maybe he's got the heads up. He's like, I know what you're doing. You're going to get my whole family and me included. And you're going to just smother us in bacon. And then you're going to just mush us all together into one massive fat Yeti. I don't want that. I'm not about that life. I'm going to, I'm going to keep my own life and, uh, you know, rip my family. But what can you do? That could be the, that could be the reason. I mean, he still thinks we're cool though from time to time. It does come up saying Yeti thinks you're cool. So maybe he is tempted but he's just not tempted enough like gold isn't enough he wants shiny gems um but he's not gonna get them i'll tell you that much all right three down nine to go uh we may not get through all nine we may not get through all 12 i should say if if 12 is indeed the number I, like i said my math is bad um but we'll see as far as we can go man i really 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 hope we get it because i had a good feeling last week wasn't the case and as I said we've it seems like we've been going for this last Yeti for like a month and that's an extremely long time uh trying to get one familiar that's not even a legendary it's just a freaking epic man like and it's not even a raid epic it's not like Drifin or or freaking squib or any of that that like just seem to be increasingly hard to find uh, incredibly hard to find I should say um like the the dungeon bosses come up fairly frequently but he's just, the 15% seems rubbish. It's like freaking 1.5% if that. Anyway, uh, that is the case for everybody. So as long as I'm not the only person having these issues. And and uh, as I've mentioned, that um, there's a few people out there that really like these Thursday videos because then they are, uh, you know, they can see that they're not alone in failing to capture things. So a man of the people, I'll say, and I'm, I'm giving you false hope. Uh, in the fact that, you know, none of us can capture anything. Uh, now I did mention that I, last episode I think it may have been, that I did cull my, uh, friends list quite a bit. Um, so if you are, if you missed last video or just as a reminder, um, all the people on my friends list, waiting list I should say, not friends list, my waiting list, um, I went through every single person, um, with the help from Zaki and saw who was still playing basically anyone that had been inactive for like a couple days um or more we we kicked off the list so there were people that um sent me you know a, a comment on youtube saying hey can you add me to the friends uh, friends list like two months ago or something and they're on like page two say and uh yeah looked them up and it's like they haven't played in two months so they must have like asked me to be there on their friends list um, and then stopped playing relatively shortly afterward. Uh, so all those people that have just, you know, asked to be on the friends list and then ceased playing, um, and not told me that, which is fair enough. I mean, you know, whatever, uh, they've all been culled off. So the waiting list is significantly smaller and, uh, at the time of last week is full of active players. So, um, that should help you guys that are on the waiting list get to the top of the list quicker. Um, having said that, the last three or four days, um, I've only been able to kick two people off the list um, because everyone's just been online, which is great. That's what we want, right? We want people online, like the community, still playing and still enjoying the game and stuff. Um, I know it does get a bit tiresome at, at times, especially when you get no loot or no familiars that you're trying to catch. And it just seems like, oh, I've been, I literally haven't got a drop in two weeks. What the hell? Um, but then it, it comes around and then you get like, you know, two or three drops in the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, it, my friends list and everyone on it has been quite active of recent times. And uh, there's only been two people that have been offline uh, for a day. So you will get added eventually. And as I mentioned, uh, even if you were on the fifth page, you're now probably on the second page because there's only two pages. Uh, so it's if you're on the waiting list, it's going to be a lot quicker for you to get added. It is the moral of that story which i ramble and turn into convoluted stories um but yeah that's that's the gist of it all right come on join your family you bitch well maybe maybe it's not his brother and sister unless mama and papa 
uh, Yeti just had like 400 kids, um, which could be the case. Maybe like they like breed or, like rabbits, like Yeti rabbits, and they just like get down like all the time. Because we've killed a lot of Yetis and we haven't persuaded them to come with us. We've only persuaded four, which means that we've just slain the rest of them. We've just flat out killed them. We're like a Yeti killing machine. Which means that somewhere, I don't know what we're doing with the corpses, but we've got like 400 Yeti corpses just like rotting away somewhere in a hole. Uh, so you would think that they would want to come, right? You th come with us. You'd be like, oh shit, uh, this guy seems pretty cool. Maybe if I join him, I'll survive uh, to fight another day. If I don't come with him, he's literally going to slaughter me and put me in a hole with my 399 other uh, siblings or cousins or something. So maybe Yetis just aren't the smartest, <laughs> which means Driffins are fucking stupid, but means sex horses are quite smart. <laughs> uh, they're, they're either super smart or super horny or both because... Um, my god that the sex horses want to join us all the time um but it's funny i i i, I don't know whether you guys think about these things or not uh, i've been playing quite a bit of red dead redemption 2 recently as has a lot of people a lot of gamers at least um that have a console at least um and it's kind of interesting in that you can go hunting for stuff and you can skin um animals for their pelts and whatnot but you leave you leave the the body behind <laughs> Uh, and then eventually the body starts rotting and then like vultures and stuff come and start and um and, and coyotes and stuff start to come and eat it which is super cool because it's like a living breathing ecosystem and stuff whereas like a lot of games you just kill something and it just disappears it's like well what happened to it like it didn't just evaporate like that yeti didn't just evaporate into nothing like its body's got to be somewhere right in some 8-bit mound of of yetis i don't know i'm stuck on this i'm stuck on this 400 yetis um decomposing in a in a like in a mound it's it's like it's permanently in, infused in my head now uh but yeah that's pretty cool there's a there's a lot of um little details in in red dead uh, cool like that and uh it's pretty good like it's definitely not my game of the year but i'm, I'm enjoying it uh but there's there's a shitload of things that i don't like about it but we're not here to talk about red dead uh, red dead redemption 2. <clears throat> Um, I'm thinking about maybe when we finally get out of Yeti territory, because it's, we've, we've been here, we're, we're, it's kind of too late, um, because, you know, we only need one more and we're out of here. Maybe when we go to Gem's Cell or Gem's Dungeon, whatever it's called, uh, of putting back, uh, the ability to capture all familiars. So at the moment we're skipping any, um, duplicates of common or rares. Uh, maybe we, we take that off, so when we do Gems Dungeon, we we have a, cap, a chance of capturing everything, and just see by the time we get five gems, how many, uh, you know, like, for this dungeon at least, how many penguins we would have ended up with. It's like, okay, well, we finally got our five gems, and in the time it took us to get five gems, we captured, you know, 94 turkeys, <laughs> and 106 penguins, um, just to kind of get some data on that, on uh, how, how many things actually come up for persuasion and depending on their rarity how many you actually catch uh it might be an interesting experiment let me know if you want to see that uh it will make the the, the runs the dungeon like farming and stuff a little bit longer because there's going to be a lot more um menus to navigate like to persuade and stuff uh but for science if you would like to see how many uh i can't even remember what the what the mobs are in gems dungeon um but if you want to see how many we can capture by the time we actually capture five of him, remember we only actually need three. We already have two in reserve, so we only need three gems. Um, but how many, you know, the of the common fam, you know, trash mobs we can capture by the time we get the five gems? Might be an interesting experiment. Either way, let me know. Uh, just, just a thought. We definitely don't have to do it. Okay, so what? We've gone through about seven dungeons, maybe? Well, I'm going to check I actually have my runes on. I do. Okay, good. Um, and he hasn't popped up yet at all, which is irritating. Um, I just I just want it to be over, man. <laughs> like, I don't get 
I don't get particularly flustered with this game and crack the shits and stuff because I know what type of game it is and I've signed up for it and you know I'm making videos about it and everything but Yeti is getting to me <laughs> um you know not having loot for two weeks and all that sort of stuff apart from that mythic helmet yeah it's annoying but like I said it swings around about so like eventually it comes back and you get a, like a couple of legendaries in a, in a day or in a couple of days or whatever and you're like oh well I didn't get loot for ages now I'm getting a bit of loot it evens itself out and you have to know what type of game this is to get into it, right? If you're going to stick it out, you know exactly what type of game it is and how long it takes to get stuff. Um, so I don't really get bothered by that sort of thing. And like, I'm happy to put in the time and, you know, if, if you just got everything you wanted handed to you, well, then what's the point of playing? Because if we just went into a Yeti dungeon and got a Yeti every single time, then the challenge of making the fatty and having the fatty would be redundant because like everyone would just have it and it would be easy to get. So what's the point? Like... You know, you, there's got to be something to strive for. Uh, so that's all fine. But Yeti particularly is getting to me. Just because it's been so long. Like, fuck this guy, man. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah. If you did watch my uh, top five um, cosmetic mounts, I would like to see in the game video. I did go um, into detail there about my top um, mount that I would want to see was Grimm's. And the reason for that was because I did... I don't know, I think it was like 3,000 energy or something, something stupid, like 100 um, dungeons before he finally um, succumbed to my gold. And I reckon it's been at least that, or more, with, with Yeti now. So, Grimm's was the longest, um, and I only needed one of him to make Korgs back in the day, and I, I just couldn't get him, and I was, back then I was getting frustrated, I'm like, man, this guy sucks, like, I'm just gonna throw gems, no, no, principle, I won't, I won't, willpower, all that sort of stuff. Um, and I remember that kind of grading on me a little bit back in the day, but Yeti, fuck, absolutely, he, he's pissing me off. Okay, so we've got 87, I think it was, 87 energy left, so that's, by the time we do two of them, um, we should regen three energy, so we should be able to do three more. And what are we at? We're at 17 minutes, so we'll, we'll do three more. I mean, if we go, it'll probably take us like 22 minutes or something, and that should be fine. Uh, and hopefully we can get one. So again, the curse of recording, uh, probably not, but uh, he, he, he needs to come soon. He definitely needs to come soon. Uh, I think I was also mentioning that I did in a, in a previous video uh, that I did do some um, exchanging of old um, set pieces and stuff like that to get some cosmetics. So I did get uh, this helmet, this tier 8 uh, set piece helmet, um, and just made this kind of cosmetic about it with this gummy um, invasion or jelly invasion, whatever it is. Uh, sword, I think that's where that's from, I believe. Um, it's just a cosmetic sword, it's not actually got any stats or anything. And then that's Astaroth's chest piece. So I think this looks pretty cool. Uh, I like this, I might use this for a while actually. I, I quite like it. Um, so, yeah, I like the cosmetic side of things, and I like that you can get the cosmetics, um, without having to pay for it. So, uh, some you can't, like cosmetic mounts and stuff, you can't, obviously. Um, oh, apart, well, apart from the expedition ones, but all the cosmetic mount bundles and stuff you have to pay for. But, uh, a lot of the cosmetics you can get from invasion and stuff just by doing the invasions, and then just your common, um, cosmetics like, you know, the chicken offhand that I'm using. Uh, you get from rewards from like PvP and, and um, trials and stuff and Gauntlet and all that type of thing per week. So it's good that they, you know, give you cosmetic options um, for free and then they give you the option of buying like the cooler ones for money. Um, I'm still waiting on my chicken mount or my chicken like um, onesie suit or, you know, battle chicken armor or something. It's got to it's gotta happen one day. Like they've got, they've got a few animals in here, I think. Um... Hang on, let's have a look. I'm pretty sure there's, if we go down to, they've got, well, they've got a clown, they've got a witch, um, what else have they got? They've got the boss, like, the bosses, so they've got, like, Rexy and Wardy and Blubber and stuff and Zorg, uh, they've got pizza, I mean, they've got pizza and a hot dog, <laughs> why can't they have a chicken? So, yeah, I'm, I'm still hanging out for that. Um, one day, 
one day there will be a chicken outfit or a chicken helmet or something and it'll be the best thing ever and like a, like a battle rooster um uh mount as well and it would just be the greatest thing have the offhand have the pet have the helmet uh or the whole the whole cosmetic look and uh you know riding a, a battle battle rooster would be pretty sweet and maybe like the, the the main hand weapon cosmetic could be like a drumstick or something <laughs> just be an all-out chicken warrior would be amazing um and then i would definitely do a video of trying to get everybody in town or at least the guild wearing that cosmetic um as much chicken stuff as they possibly could and uh see how many i could do and film it and stuff that would be pretty cool but that is all subject to change i guess or, or depending if the devs ever put in chicken stuff i mean the fact that there's an offhand and a, and a pet chicken is pretty sweet um that, I, you know i like that everyone has their own uh oh we're, no we're, we're short by actually six minutes so that's interesting uh, everyone has their own animal stuff like people like pigs and all that stuff obviously i'm a chicken person so yeah anyway uh, i thought we were going to get to 30 minutes there um uh a, another 30 energy i should say but alas we are not we're at 21 minutes already so uh let's just leave it here and that way we can just focus this whole video on yeti being a dick uh but it is the curse of recording as i've said so no doubt um the rest of the day when i do his dungeon he will come up for persuasion at least once i i can almost guarantee it uh but he will not actually join because he's a dick either way there you go yeti hunting week number four let's say or probably more either way hopefully you enjoyed it still uh as always thanks for watching and i will see you next time if you like this video click here to see another one just like it if you're new to the channel and like what i'm doing click here to subscribe and become the newest member of the chicken coop if you really like what i'm doing you can find a link to my patreon in the description where you can help support me and help the channel grow You'll also find a link to the channel's Discord server where you can chat with me and other members of the Chicken Coop. And don't forget to hit that notification bell.